Now we have rather special guests with us today. Not only are Gavin and Cassie Murphy father and daughter, they work together at G and Hickton Funeral Directors in Wellington. Uh, good morning to you both. Lovely to have you here. Good morning. Good Cassie, to be here. I must ask, how did you end up working with your dad? Well, so dad joined the industry straight after you left school pretty much, mm. didn't you? So I guess we always grew up around it and it was always an interest of mine, but he wasn't very keen on me. He's like, no, I can't do something else, find something else you can do. But I nagged him for a while and an office job became available when I left school and he's like, can you come in and help for a couple of weeks? Yeah. And I've been there ever since. So while I was in the office, I was kind of going down the back and helping out the embalmers and things because that's what I was really interested in. And once an embalmer left, I jumped at the opportunity to work in the mortuary. Wow. So, so, so Gavin, you're a funeral director and you're in the, the embalmer. So there's obviously a difference? Yeah, there is a difference. Actually, I'm a funeral director and embalmer, oh, okay. um, which is not that uncommon in the smaller businesses around the country. Um, and unfortunately, I don't get a lot of opportunity to embalm these days, but it's a really important part of uh, what we do. So um, I guess the difference is embalmers uh, look after someone's loved one, um, and they tend to be out the back and, and caring for the deceased. And the funeral directors are out the front, and they're more event organisers, and they'll help pull the funeral together for the family. Right, so you're looking after the people that are alive, and you're looking after the ones that have passed, right. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it a rather unusual thing for someone so young to want to do? Um, there are quite a few young people in the industry, but yeah, it's definitely not the normal, I guess, and a few people are like, what are you doing that for? But I guess once you've grown up around the industry, it just becomes your normal, and we grew up working, well, being around the funeral yeah. home, and it just became like a second home to us, so... Yeah, and I guess being able to help someone's family and someone look after someone's loved one is really important. It's so. a really, really important job. You're right there. Um, so the two of you working together, how does that work? The father, the, the father and daughter thing. Um, it works really well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's been a few opportunities that Dad's come and helped me in the mortuary, and it's really good. He's obviously so passionate about what he does, and. It's great to learn some things off him. So. Learn from the master. Yeah. <laughs> is embalming something that you can you learn on the job or is there a course that you can go and do? Um, it's a bit of both. We have some amazing embalmers at Jan Hickton, so I've learnt a lot from them. But there is also a course through Wildtech, the Diploma in Embalming, which I am currently enrolled in. So almost finished that. Okay, and what about, is there is there any special training you need to be a funeral director? There is, again, um, you go to Welltech, but I guess the key to being a great funeral director is uh, uh, having a, a, a fantastic mentor, someone who's experienced in the funeral industry, and uh, they provide a great deal of mentorship through through the role, and uh, then that's uh, capped by uh, the course at Welltech, which uh, gives, the, gives the finesse, uh, effectively. And having empathy as well, I guess. A lot of empathy, Probably yeah. fairly important, I'd Absolutely. say, at this time. Uh, I find this really fascinating that I could, if I want to open a premise and open a funeral home, if I find someone to open a funeral home, I could go and do that because there's nothing stopping me. Yes, you're right. You know, incredibly, there is no regulation in uh, funeral service in New Zealand, and, and families are often surprised by that. You know that, mm. uh, you know, they're passing over their loved one to you, and uh, literally uh, anyone can can open up a funeral home. So, you know, my recommendation is to make sure that uh, when you're choosing a funeral director, that you choose a reputable firm. Uh, not a fly-by-night firm. We've seen some horror stories in the past about yeah. companies that have come and gone. Also, um, being a member of FDANZ is a great uh, great way to know that uh, the, the company that you're dealing with um, understands the industry regulations and uh, they'll back that up with um, great customer service and, and ensure that uh, they know what they're doing and, and look after you well. And that's good to know and you of course are a member of that as well. Hey thank you both so much for joining. It's such an important time of life and it's really important that you get it right so it's been great chatting with you both. For a free booklet or advice on planning a funeral contact G and Hickton on 04 566 3103 or nz or you can find them on facebook.com slash g and hickton funeral directors <laughs>